Hi everyone, Sid here back again with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to create a multiple, uh, how to upload multiple file in Laravel 8. So I have already installed in Laravel 8 in my system already. I have uh, covered all things here. Uh, let me show you. Uh, my port is running on this local host and here I am requesting the images. I am going to upload images. Let me first image and second image and let me submit the form look we have successfully submitted the particular form so once we have submitted this form let me show you where each image is going here we have to submitted four images right now four or five images something okay so now how you can create first of all um, you need to uh, run composer package uh, let me show you i have already uh, written blog in my blog website which is the real programmer dot in how to upload multiple images in laravel 8 so you can check out from here first of all you need to install composer uh, in your system so how you can install composer you can shop and check out my previous video i have already covered it so now then second step is you need to create a laravel 8 project in your system so how you can create you can look at here we have the already written this particular uh, command so composer create project so you can write in uh, by this command you can um, install laravel 8 in system then you need to configure database which is inside of the dot env file let me go inside of the dot env file yes we have written so you need to put your configuration database configurations like username password and database name so once you insert these things then you need to uh, also you can uh, run particular command uh, php artisan serve otherwise leave it then we need to run uh, command for the creating model and migration so once you created migration and model then what you need to do so once we have added the, this particular line of code so php artisans make model and model name basically we have the file so keep f is as a caps okay so once we have added like files i will change this one and then what we need to do here minus m means migration so migrations also associated with particular table uh, model so once we have added then we need to inside uh, we need to go inside of the migration file which is this one created let me let me show you where this is presented so database inside of the database we have migrations and inside of the migrations files we have this one so let me open this one look we have the files schema already here so you need to uh, add this particular lines of code which is files name so inside the files name it means we are in uh, storing these particular uh, uh, columns inside of the word table so once we have successfully submitted this particular lines of code then i am going to inside of uh, files which is model let me go inside the file uh, we have sorry models app models inside the models we have the file so here um, we need to add this protected of uh, protected available files name also i have set particular i want to all data is stored inside of uh, one particular uh, column okay one particular row so we have written particular this function so this files name we will uh, uh, store as in a json format okay so inside of the files name column okay so now once you have written this one then you need to create a controller so you can write a command php artisan make colon controller and controller name so i have written controller name which is file controller let me show you we have the file controller so we have written file controller inside the file controller we have two method first method is create we are returning view from this particular lines of code okay and also don't skip the uh, adding this particular name so once you have added the files model then you need to go inside of the this particular lines of code which is the functions we have written and then i am going to uh, show you store functions okay so before in store function i am going to web.php which is route so whenever you need to call in laravel 8 controller and functions keep in mind you need to add this of lines of code which is uh, we are including here file controller we have the already created and we have already discussed about this particular uh, controller so you need to put path okay so this particular path is app http controllers and inside the controllers we have the file controller so we have added here now files controller and here we have the scope resolution operator and class so 
this particular controller is a class something then we are calling the create function and also we call calling the store functions when we hitting the get method in uh, url which is the images then we are calling that particular fine uh, lines uh, function which is the create so here i am going to show you here we have the create and here we are uh, returning the particular li uh, files which is the image upload so i have created this line so you can uh, write a code inside of the here uh, all your view uh, code let me show you resources views inside of views we have the created image uploaded so inside of the image uploaded we have written this particular of lines of code so before uh, let me show you okay so here i have written is a you can check a uh, uh, get, get uh, sorry bootstrap 4 i have included here min.css also i have applied here jquery because we will uh, work on jquery function so here we have the document prodi fun functions we have written uh, first of all i'm going to so, uh, explain you so also i have written as a jumbo so why i written jumbo class something so you can check um, basically this box and also have written uh, uh, laravel 8 multiple images so i am using here let me close this one okay let me show you my code yes so here then what we're doing here once we have added successfully this one then i am going to inside of my form so once we calling the particular this particular function which is a image okay and also we using post method so don't forget if you're uploading files or images then you need to add enc type in html tag so we have added okay enc type multi-part data format also in laravel if you're uploading form then also you need to uh, add as a C csrf so this csrf will go um, in hidden format basically this will generate one token okay also i am going to some uh, uh, show you if you are submitting the form also before submitting form we can also add and remove something okay we have the column we have applied here so let me show you here uh, so we have added add okay and we have also remove button so once we have added remove uh, add and remove something then how we are uh, doing this stuff let me show you here we have the success if particular this line uh, this particular button clicking then we are uh, cloning we have the cl clone something we have appended in div the particular uh, this one so then once we have added particular this then we are adding uh, appending the clone same file basically one or two time multiple suppose we have the add then uh, we can remove so remove uh, let me show you how this is working suppose i have added so we are appending this one this particular lines okay so this is a basically div div let me show you so we are cloning this one okay let me go again inside the co code so again here if we are uh, this class calling increment then we are appending this one okay inside of the, this lines of code okay we uh, all estimate we storing inside of the this variable and then we are appending here okay so also here we have the uh, one more button which is danger for the removing then we have uh, again we are removing this real row code this div we are removing which is the add something okay so once we have add and remove something then what we need to do here uh, let me go inside the my controller we have added here so here we are uh, checking files name is required for validations and if we have the multiple images then when checking if this is an image or not so if images then we are um, going again uh, scroll down and here we are storing in file as a array format so here also we checking has file is a files name or not something then if we have the files name then we are uh, running here for each loop okay inside the for each loop we have the particular uh, files name as file we have added here so here we getting the extension of file what is the extension of file suppose we have the dot uh, png something and here we are already uh, uh, adding the particular uh, file name here so time and also we are uh, running as a rand so random number we are generating so also time and random gem generator and dot extension so we putting and the as a name so same name we are moving the particular file path here okay and also we storing inside of the this array okay so here we have uh, here we have the applied as a model so as a we have created as a object format 
okay then we are storing the variable which is the file and also here we have the member access operator we have written and also we have the files here then we are storing and we are saving all data inside of the our databases so once this is successfully done then we are redirecting again with success message okay we have the uh, change the success message which is the image has been successfully added let me go inside of the my view format here we have the uh, session and we are checking okay if alert successfully then we are uh, have the session message which we are uh, we are already passing from here image successfully uh, created something so we are adding here alert and here we are using bootstrap uh, classes okay if any uh, error occurs then we are counting here and also we are uh, have some issue so we have written as a um, errors message if you want to remove you can remove we have already printing from here any errors if occurs okay so let me show you look we have error here is some issue in the please please check the files name has field required okay so basically extension have issue so we have uh, added success uh, alert here okay so if you have any doubt related to this video please comment on comment section also i have written this particular uh, blog uh, is uh, tutorials i have written blog also if you want to this code you can check out from my github repository let me show you my github repository uh, this is my github repository so you can also follow in the uh, github so i um, every times when i uploaded you can check out from my github repository so don't forget to follow me in github also thank you for watching